Hi, welcome to Math Movies with Ms. Feuerbeck and Ms. Faludi. Today we will be converting measurements using metric units for lengths. These are the metric unit conversions that we'll be using in today's lesson. One centimeter equals 10 millimeters, one meter equals 100 centimeters, one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. There will be a reference cheat sheet on each of the pages, so you'll be able to refer back to that. You don't need to memorize these. But what you do need to know is that when you're converting metric lengths, as you can probably tell, we're working in a base 10 system, and the conversions are using powers of 10. So we're going to be using our knowledge of multiplying and dividing whole numbers and decimals and the powers of 10 in today's lesson. The first thing that you need to know when you're converting is that when you're converting a larger unit of length to a smaller unit of length, you're going to need to multiply. So let's take an example. When you have 6 meters equals some number of centimeters, well meters is a larger or longer unit of length or measurement compared to centimeters. Many centimeters make up a meter. So we're going to need to multiply to figure out how many ex exactly how many centimeters make up six meters. I have to multiply by the number of centimeters in a meter, which is 100. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply it six times 100, and that brings me to 600. Down below, I have 4.25 centimeters equals some number of millimeters. Well, in this case, centimeters is the larger unit of length compared to millimeters, which is a smaller unit of length that makes up centimeters. So I'm going to need to multiply, and I'll be multiplying by the number of millimeters in a centimeter, which is 10. So I have to multiply 4.25 times 10. The way that I do that, the easiest way, is to move my decimal place one place to the right, because that's what you do when you're multiplying by 10. We did the same thing up above. When we multiplied 6 times 100, we took that decimal place and we went over times 10, times 10 again, which is times 100, and placed our decimal at the end and plugged in our zeros when needed. So down here, 4.25 times 10 brings us to 42.5. If it's confusing to you, think about estimation. 4.25 is close to 4, and 4 times 10 is 40. So our estimate should be close to our final answer, which it is. The second thing that you need to know when you're converting is that when you have a smaller unit of length and you're converting to a larger unit of length, you're going to need to divide. And that's because the larger unit of length, there's fewer of them that make up this longer, many more, uh, smaller unit of length. So let's look at an example. Here we have 5,000 meters equals some number of kilometers. Meters is a smaller unit of length compared to kilometers. So we're going to need to divide to get our final answer. I'm going to be dividing <clears throat> by the number of meters in a kilometer, which is 1,000. So 5,000 divided by 1,000 equals 5 kilometers. I could also think about it as when I take 5,000, I'm moving over to the left. 10, another group of 10, and another group of 10, because 10 times 10 times 10 equals 1,000. And I'm ending with my decimal place right here, which is the same thing as 5. The second problem says 9,428 centimeters equals some number of meters. Now, centimeters is a smaller unit of length compared to meters, so once again, I'm going to need to divide, and this time, I'm dividing by 100 because that's how many centimeters are in a meter. To divide by 100, I'll take my 9,428. I know that my decimal point begins at the right. That's where it is right now. And to divide by 100, I'm going to move over to the left, because that's dividing by 10. And then I'm going to keep going, divide by another group of 10, and that's going to be a total of 100. 
dividing by 10 and dividing by 10 again is dividing by 100. So my decimal point ends up right there, 94.28. Once again, if that's a little bit confusing, you can always use estimation. And I can round my number 9,428 to about 9,000. And I can round, uh, and I can keep my 100. And I, when I divide 9,000 divided by 100, I get 90 as an estimate. So my answer is very close to my estimate, and I know that I'm accurate. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you learned a lot about converting measurements with metric units for length. Watch the other videos to learn more about how to convert other types of measurements.